It was a full house to launch a futuristic quest about driving innovation at GM. The industry is on the cusp of an exciting transformation and we are indeed going electric, connected, autonomous and shared. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne joined the celebration of what will lead to 700 new jobs in research and development. It is important that business leaders know that Canada is a sound place to invest, that we're open for business, that we're willing to work with them. The jobs are high quality for engineers and software developers. Like Airbnb to the hotel industry or fintech to the banking industry, technology is going to change how traditional automakers work. And tech experts say making investments like this is the only option to survive. And it's not just one technology, it's the sharing economy. It's now driverless uh, vehicles. And you know, maybe there's even more uh, uh, coming that we don't uh, uh, realize uh, yet. Still, amid the announcement, there is real uncertainty about the future of auto manufacturing here. 1,000 jobs will be lost when production of the Camaro ends next year, and there are questions about GM's commitment to the Oshawa plant as a whole. Thanks, Jerry. But the union says today's move is positive. The fact that we have the federal government, provincial government, municipal governments, General Motors and us in the same room talking about moving forward, I view that as an incredible step. GM would not comment on future manufacturing commitments, only to say that negotiations are planned for later this summer. Renee Filipponi, CBC News, Oshawa, Ontario.